On behalf of Pernod Ricard, I'm delighted and proud to be here to share the strong progress we've made on our 2030 Sustainability and Responsibility, SNR strategy, good times from a good place. This strategy was launched two years ago in Cognac with key board members, top management, including our lead independent director and core business partners as part of the group's Transform and Accelerate Roadmap. Back then, we talked to you about the importance of our comprehensive grain to glass strategy and have since then provided you with regular updates on our actions. Today is another such occasion. Our vision at Pernod Ricard is to be created a conviviality. And for us, it's all about how we do business, about how we do business in the right way as a sustainable and responsible company. It's also about the power of bringing human connections, bringing people close together in a meaningful way to unlock the magic and to strengthen what we do collectively. We believe that by working closely with others, we can learn by sharing knowledge, we can improve by challenging each other, and we can innovate by trialing solutions together, together with our employees, with farmers, with producers, with suppliers, and of course our consumers as we're created a conviviality. So it's by adopting a multi-stakeholder approach. Before I talk about our progress, a quick reminder. Our good times from a good place strategy is fully embedded into every part of our business. It's built around four key pillars with more than 30 commitments linked to the material risks of the business addressing our consumer needs and using the guiding beacons of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Let's take a look. We bring good times from a good place. We aspire to create a more convivial world, a world without excess. Our products take their character from the land where they were grown. We nurture every terroir and its biodiversity and respond to the challenges of climate change to ensure quality ingredients now and for generations to come. Conviviality is about sharing warmth, care and respect for people everywhere. We increase diversity and fairness for all our people and empower people across our supply chain. We share a world of finite resources. We minimize waste at every step by imagining, producing and distributing our products and experiences in ways that optimize and help preserve natural resources. Our products bring people together and serve a valuable role in society. We fight alcohol misuse in society by taking action on harmful drinking and engaging with our stakeholders for real change. All of this contributes to shaping more sustainable and responsible Conviviality. Nurturing terroir is our first pillar. All of our brands come from nature and take their identity from the land where they're grown. From the terroir, as we say in French. Terroir is actually more than just the land. It evokes an identity, a culture, a community and a sense of belonging. Our core business is inextricably linked to well-functioning ecosystems in these terroirs, a global web of nature, if you like, and any degradation of these has a direct impact on our natural ingredients we depend on to produce high quality products for generations to come. So it's vital for us to strengthen our agricultural supply chains to ensure business resilience and to future-proof our iconic brands. So, what have we been doing? We've been mapping our terroirs so that we know where all our natural ingredients come from. And as part of this, identifying the most pressing sustainability issues attached to those areas, such as water, pollution, biodiversity, or social issues. We've identified and mapped 57 priority terroirs, those that represent a high volume or a link to an iconic ingredient. They represent over 94% of our annual spend. Let's take a look. We produce and source over 100 ingredients from more than 65 countries to create our iconic brands. 
This includes key ingredients such as wheat, barley and a variety of grains, cane and beet, grapes and agave, and other flavouring ingredients that give our products their unique taste, coffee, coconut, star anise, juniper, orange, gentian. It's important that we work with local communities in our terroir to safeguard and enhance the ecosystems that we rely on and identify current and future challenges. But it's not enough just to identify risks and issues. We need to take action to protect and nurture this precious natural capital. So what actions are we taking? Well, we're adopting a holistic, regenerative agricultural practices to help with carbon sequestration, water retention and biodiversity enhancement, developing new initiatives, partnerships and R&D programmes working with others. Let's hear from Conor McQuaid, the CEO of Irish Distillers, about what they're doing. At Irish Distillers, we recognise the need to deepen and strengthen relationships with our spring barley growers, one of the key ingredients for making whisky. Now, our distillery in Middleton is located in a part of Ireland where the crop is largely grown. And as such, some of our suppliers are also our neighbours. Now, in 2020, we devised a tailored sustainability programme which financially incentivises farmers to grow spring barley sustainably and deliver additional environmental benefits on their farms. Now, these include initiatives to enhance biodiversity, including, for example, leaving uncultivated margins, installing beehives or maintaining hedge grows in a manner that supports wildlife. And we are delighted to have a very strong uptake last year with more than 200 suppliers signing up and we will continue to work with them to further develop this scheme. Other great examples are with Martel Cognac and Mum and Perry Jewett Champagne, where we've partnered with world-renowned expert in agroecology, Sebastian Rumejois, to run pilots with farmers who've been working with us for more than 10 generations. We are trialling climate-resistant grape varieties, cover crops, and designing vineyards for the future. Valuing people starts with all our employees. At Pernod Ricard, we strongly believe in blending performance with conviviality. And our last biannual employee survey, I say, showed that 88% of our employees felt highly engaged or engaged. And we believe conviviality is a key driver of this. Diversity and inclusion, or better balance as we call it, has always been part of our modus operandi. And we are present in more than 70 countries globally and know that it's crucial for our company to mirror the broad spectrum of our consumer base. To strengthen this further, we've announced the launch of a new DNI roadmap, Live Without Labels, which includes a global DNI council made up of senior leaders, partnerships with external thought leaders, and specific leadership training adapted to local DNI challenges, as well as initiatives to create a mindset of true conviviality one of tolerance, equity, and inclusion for everyone. We've also been using the power of our brands to promote a more inclusive world. A good example of this is the Ballantines There's No Wrong Way campaign. Get a job. A job. Something you love. Something that pays the bills. Or whatever. But you know, work. Work at a desk. Or work at a desk. Go out. And dance. Dance how they dance. Dance how you dance. Fast, slow, oh yeah. Or don't dance. Stay in and give it a miss. Dress cool, dress whatever. Dress any way you want. Post your life. Post someone else's life. Be someone else. Or delete your account. Do your thing. Do their thing. His thing. Her thing. Call it your thing. Anything. Drink it their way. Drink it your way. Drink to them, or drink to us. Or don't drink. Turn those expectations off. Stay true. Stay true to who you are. And when you do, there's no wrong way to look, to feel, to move, to love. When you do, there's no wrong way to live. Valentine's, stay true. We've also made steady progress on gender balance. Pernod Ricard is committed to having a gender balanced top management team by 2030 and we've gone from a 19% to 
of women in top management roles to 26% in the last five years. Globally, women now represent 37% of our workforce. I also want to touch on equal pay as we have a 2022 target. We measured it globally and it was only about 2%. Ever since then, we've been reducing it. And what about externally? Well, we've developed a free Bar World of Tomorrow training course to help the bar community be more sustainable as they come back. And we're happy to share that this has been adopted by the Marriott, Hilton, and Relay and Chateau hotel chains as part of the training path for their bartenders globally. In addition to this, we've formed a strong partnership with the Sustainable Restaurant Association and Net Zero Now. And we're signatories with Coca-Cola of their Net Zero pubs and bar initiative to help the UK on trade become net zero. We've also worked with the SRA to create an innovative online audit tool to help bars assess their level of sustainability and improve it with a tailored action plan. We're looking to see how we can roll this out globally. Circular making is about how we imagine, produce and distribute our products in the right way. To do this, we apply our five R's framework for all stages. Of course, this is all linked to carbon emissions, where our principle is always to start with reduction. We've already reduced the carbon intensity of our industrial operations by one third since 2010. And I'm pleased to announce today that for scope one and two, which is direct CO2 emissions from energy consumed by production sites and indirect emissions from the energy purchased by our production sites, we're accelerating this target from 30% reduction to net zero by 2030 at the latest. I'll now hand over to Connor to talk a bit about what Irish Distillers is doing to help with this reduction. As you've just heard, the group has decided to accelerate its ambition to reach net zero carbon in its own operations by 2030 at the latest. Now, this is the right thing to do, and we are looking forward to playing our part in realising this ambition. For us at Irish Distillers, this will mean implementing a carbon zero roadmap for Middleton Distillery to tackle scope one and scope two in a phased approach. Now, the first phase will focus on improving energy efficiency, notably by replacing our current boilers with highly efficient boilers. The second phase will recover heat from our distillation process, allowing us to reuse the recovered energy and substantially reduce our gas usage. And finally, in our third phase, we will replace the remaining fossil fuel usage with renewable fuels such as biogas. Now, with regard to scope three, having recently mapped our carbon footprint, we know that 75% of our emissions are currently in our supply chain. So there is a lot of opportunity here, and we are already working with our partners in areas such as dry goods supply, transport and logistics to tackle scope three emissions. For scope three, our aim is to reduce our overall intensity by 50% by 2030, in line with the science-based targets. To achieve this, we'll work with all of our suppliers, both in agriculture and packaging. So now turning to packaging and waste. For this, we brought forward our ban on all single-use plastic promotional items from 2025 to 2021. This includes things like festival cups, plastic bags and balloons. So by June this year, we will have eliminated more than 70 million items from our business. Our commitment is to have 100% recyclable, reusable, compostable or bio-based packaging by 2025. Let's take a look at some of our progress so far. Today, 90% of our packaging is made of glass, which is infinitely recyclable. And we are continually developing new, more sustainable packaging solutions to further minimize waste and our overall carbon footprint. We're reducing the weight of our bottles and increasing their recycled content, as well as looking at ways of reducing carbon emissions in the making process. 
we're removing plastic from caps, labels and secondary packaging. And we're rethinking and innovating with alternative materials. We're also proud to be reusing bottles collected from bars and restaurants. Panerika India is reusing around 10% of all the glass it uses for packaging its products, which is equivalent to about 60 million bottles. For water, we've reduced our use by 23% in 2010, and our affiliates are currently developing their own water reduction roadmaps so that we can reduce further by 20%. We also have strong water replenishment programs in countries identified as high risk. Panarikar India is a great example of what can be achieved. They recharge 1.2 times more groundwater than they would withdraw for business operations, which makes them a net water positive company. Another example is Mexico, where we've worked with beer and the industry leaders to restore a protected area through reforestation, infrastructure repair and community education, all of which have helped to relieve pressure from the Santiago River watershed. Our fourth pillar relates to how we market our products and how they're enjoyed in the right way. As creator de conviviality, we are all really clear that there's no conviviality in excess and that we all have an important role to play in combating alcohol misuse and promoting responsible drinking. And that really starts with all of us at Perno Rica. We're all ambassadors for responsible consumption. And as part of this, we've developed a mandatory e-learning on alcohol and responsible drinking all employees. Also, all our marketing commercial teams must complete an e-learning on the code for commercial communications. Today, we are proud to contribute to more than 150 global and local programs in more than 58 countries, working in close collaboration with industry, governments and local partners. Key to this is ensuring that they are evaluated to demonstrate impact. For more than 12 years now, we've been supporting the Responsible Party Make Good Times Unforgettable initiative, which aims at tackling binge drinking by raising awareness among young adults. Following COVID, this campaign has now also got a digital dimension, and our ambition is to reach 3 million young adults physically by 2030, and more than 30 million digitally over the next two years. We've also partnered with UNITAR, the United Nations Institute for Training and Research, to support the auto sobriety training program to prevent drink driving. This is a comprehensive e-learning course, which is also complemented by practical exercises. We are piloting this in South Africa and the Dominican Republic and plan to roll it out to eight countries in the next two years. As a member of the International Alliance for Responsible Drinking, IARD, we're working with other key players in the industry, online retailers and delivery companies on a new set of standards to ensure that our products are not sold or delivered to minors. Our brands also developed their own campaigns. Last year, Absolute launched its Sex Responsibly campaign, and this was followed by three other executions, Mix Responsibly, vote responsibly and love responsibly. These campaigns combined reached approximately 80 million consumers and generated 90% positive sentiment in the US. Here's another example from Irish distillers, which I will let Connor introduce. I ask all of my colleagues at Irish distillers to be advocates for the responsible enjoyment of our products. And as such, we are focused on making sure that our employees have the necessary tools and skills to become ambassadors for responsible hosting. But we also need to reflect and amplify this message through our brands and our corporate communications. Our most recent campaign took into account the current situation with COVID, encouraging people drinking at home to do so responsibly. With this campaign, we reached over 60,000 people. Let's take a look.
Whether you're heading for after work drinks, propping up the bar in your local, having a few drinks with the old guy, or just tucked away in a quiet snug, the venue may have changed, but always think responsibly. Drink responsibly. We strongly believe in sharing what we do in a clear and transparent way and are proud of our consistent scores by ratings agencies. We've also been recognised by UN Global Compact as a lead for our contribution towards achieving the SDGs, one of only 40 companies globally and the only wine and spirit company. We know it's a journey and we have a way to go. We hope that today has given you a strong insight into the progress we've made so far, and more importantly, the level of commitment and drive by everyone at Pernod Ricard. To reinforce this, we've created a new board committee on SNR, led by Patricia Barbazé, our lead independent director, which will be key in pushing our commitments further. We also have very committed employees and we value their voices and actions and believe that many have great ideas to help improve our business. So we've launched the Good Challenge, a global search for the best employee s &I ideas. The global winner will be announced in September. For us, sustainability is interwoven into every part of our business. And we know that if we want to continue to bring good times in the future, from a sustainable point of view, then we need to bring them from a good place. A place of shared value, innovation, partnership and care. A place of conviviality. <laughs>